What's up guys, this is Gidas FIFA and welcome to FIFA Tutorials! We are back with top 3 best formation according to me. Before we jump into the formations, if you are new to the channel, click on the subscribe button to receive my contents every two days, I think. And if you enjoyed the video, smash the like buttons, it would be very, very, very much appreciated. Um, today we are going to look through three formations, and this is not top three as in the first one is the best, but top three being these three formations I really enjoy in FIFA 16. Uh, I hope it helps you guys. I created teams from three major leagues this time, uh, just to show you what types of teams you, have, you can build around those <coughs> formations. So yeah, let's jump to the first one, and as you can see on your screen already, it is a 4-1-2-1-2. It is the conservative choice. Why is it the conservative choice, you ask? It is a conservative choice because it's a formation that's always good, that has been always good, and that is still very, very nice. It plays very well, it has everything that the formation needs. Four at the back, uh, right mid and left mid, which are nicer than in FIFA 15. In FIFA 15 I didn't like having right mids and left mids, I liked right wings or right forwards. And this FIFA, it's alright, uh, and you know, it has two of those. It has a great, great CDM in the middle, a cam, which is very important, and two strikers, which are deadly. Great formation, uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, what can I tell you? I built a DPL team around it. Those teams that I built, um, it's something you can think of as, as a as a goal, you know. Uh, I would like to have a team like this, but I don't have the coins, let's say. But let me build it up. You see, I got a Walker, maybe the next player I will have will be Payet, or his, uh, his inform maybe later on, Loi Kremi, uh, Lukaku, Matic, you know, so on and so on and so on. Start with cheaper, cheaper players that are maybe... You can look at the stats of, for example, Shakiri. Uh, or someone else, Mangala or Holabas, and find out that there are cheaper players that are almost as good, so you can start with them, then if you get the coins, just swap them around, you know how this works. Begovic, a brilliant goalkeeper, great, just great stuff. Mm, maybe all the instructions on the players, I would put uh, my fullbacks to stay back while attacking, my center defensive mid to... wait a second, where is it? Stay back while attacking. Uh, my both strikers to stay central and maybe one of them, like maybe the slower one, Lukaku would it be, I would go to for get, get in behind. Uh, I also paired them so that there's one striker who's slower but more beasty and one striker who is definitely the speedster. The most important thing, uh, four-star skills on the wings and the great cam with good long shots. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the second formation very quickly. Team number, number two, and this is the overpowered choice. I've been talking about this formation a lot and it's brilliant. I've suggested it to people, people tweet me that this formation is good, that they like this formation. So yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really, really happy about this formation as well. I love it, absolutely love it. And yeah, that is the team that I picked. It's a Bundesliga team, as you can see, with an inform Chalanoglu, who would be a great striker in this formation. I would love him. Uh, Robin, who's just because, you know, why not? Of course, if you cannot afford him, buy someone cheaper. From the likes of Kevin Campbell, who is a great player, by the way, uh, to like Bellarabi. I don't know, you can figure it out. Uh, left mid, of course, if you have more coins, you can buy Royce. Mm. In this formation, the most important thing is how you put on your center meets. You need at least one center meet who's very defensive, and I mean like very defensive. Like in this formation, uh, it's Luis Gustavo, and also 
Oh, also Kevin Prince Boateng. Nice shot, shooting and long shots basically on Thiago. Great midfield. Nastasic uh, in for Mati, post cheap in from, great goalkeeper in from Farman. That guy who looks absolutely amazing. I would love to play with him. And Piszczek, the normal choice. Great formation, very well balanced. There's a lot of a lot of players in the midfield where you need them. There's a lot of players in the attack when you need them. Uh, I would also go for some skillers. I've got uh, four four star uh, four four star skillers in this team. So that's how it works. About instructions once again for full backs, stay back while attacking. For the defensive player, also stay back while attacking. The others you can just leave there. Uh, them on balance, the, him for stay, uh, and yeah, and the striker for stay central, and them just leave as they are. You don't have to put put the instructions everywhere. Sometimes you can overdo it, so that's what you want. And then the last team is going to be the interesting one. It's the four triple two with a BBVA team. I did not play for triple two in the FIFA 15. It was only good if your central attacking mids were very pacey. It's not as important in FIFA 16, so this formation is brilliant. It's absolutely great. I love playing with it, mainly because you've got uh, two CDMs who are just unstoppable. It's just an, an unstoppable barrier, ba basically, for your opponents. You've got your central attacking mids who do a lot of work, so make sure to have great players here. And then you have two strikers, once again, the deadly duo. That's what you want. In 4-3-2-1, basically, you have three strikers or one strikers and two wingers, depending how the situation works. In here, you've got two strikers, which is great. Mm, and yeah, I chose a, a, a BBVA team because why not? I stayed away from the likes of Ronaldo and Messi and Neymar and Suarez, just tried to pick a normal one. For example, we've got a nice dribbler here with Correa, a good striker with Benzema, great players like Isco and James Rodriguez, the walls, the absolute walls that are Busquets and Inform Krychowiak. Then we've got Inform Mustafi, who looks like an amazing card. I would, I would absolutely love to play it with them. And especially what you want to look at defense, they have low high or medium high work rates. And here we've got Mustafi on low high. So I let myself go with Pepe, medium high work rates, great. Great uh, left back and right back, good, uh, very high goalkeeper in Cassia. Just what you want. Once again, with the instructions, of course, stay back while attacking here. Stay back while attacking. Wait a second, where is it? There we go. Stay back while attacking for the two CDMs. Then you can leave on balanced. And then once again, you can, for example, put Benzema. Both of them on stay central, but for example, Benzema on getting behind. Korea, not really. He might be a bit quicker. You might want to dribble around with him. Uh, and with Benzema, you just want him to have a clean shot on target. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the formations. If you agree with me, write it in the comment section. If you don't, also uh, write me your favorite formations. I would love to try some other ones. Maybe there are some other great formations that I didn't use a lot. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any formations that you love, post them in the comment section or, or on Twitter. Uh, you can find me there as well. The link is in the description below. And so is the link to my live streams at twitch.tv. I try to stream a few times a week. You can find me there. You can chat to me. Everything is brilliant. Um, so yeah, make sure to check me out. Good luck with your formations. Good luck with your teams. And I hope this video helped you just a tiny little bit. Uh, I will have to go right now and I will see you soon. Bye!